Hey guys, what is up? Doing a brand new video. This one is going to be a movie review for Chappie. So Chappie is a new uh, South African science fiction film directed by Niall uh, Blomkamp. I can never pronounce his last name before I've written there because I can never pronounce it. It's Niall Blomkamp. He did District 9 and Elysium. Two films I actually uh, really enjoy, District 9 more than Elysium. But um, yeah, he's back with a new science fiction film called Chappie. I don't know what to say about the title. Title seems a little stupid to me. I think they could have come up with a better title or, or a better name for the robot because it's named after the robot Chappie. Um, but this film stars Hugh Jackman and Sigourney Weaver, also Charlotte Copley. Uh, a couple of other people I'm not too sure of. Uh, don't know who they really are. Uh, music is done by Hans Zimmer. I think we all know who he is. You know, the Batman trilogy. He does a lot of things. Um, but this film is, uh, I, I found to be excellent. I I really, really enjoyed this one. This, um, this film uh, had a $49 million budget. And so far in the last week, it's already gross 30, just under $33 million. It's $32.9 million at the moment, just in a week. Um, and I don't think every country's got it yet. So as I said, it's a oh, hang on, there we go. As I said, uh, sorry, my screen just sort of went a little. I don't know what happened to it. Um, as I said, it's a South African uh, science fiction film. Uh, Niall Blon Camp uh, is a South African Canadian director. Um, I I've only seen previous films, Chappie District Nine and Elysium. Uh, I'm actually sure I've seen probably more of his, but I'm not too sure why. I'm not a, you know, I'm, I don't really go on his IMDb and go, I have to watch every film. I really don't know. I didn't really, really know who he was. I knew the films that he's done, like District 9 and Elysium, but other than that, I was never really known. I never really knew who he was. Um, but yeah, as I said, I really, really enjoyed this film. I've got a little story for you guys. Today is Sunday the 15th of March, so I'm a little behind. I did want to see this on Thursday when it was released because it was released, uh, f f f uh, yeah, four days. I was thinking it was four or five. It's four days. It was released four days in Australia, four days ago. Um, I wanted to see it on Thursday. I didn't get the chance to, um, but I've seen it now. Well, the story is I went to this movie with a really good friend of mine. Uh, we saw it's a two, two and a half hour film. I think it says 120 minutes on Wikipedia, but... With all the trailers and credits and crap, it was about two and a half. Um, so we got the afternoon session. I think it was like one o'clock session of Chappie this afternoon. And we got out at about 3.30. Pretty much, we got out of the theater and we sort of just stood outside the door for a minute. There was no one else in the theater. I think I was like one other person, but he left for us. We sort of stood in the doorway and just sort of looked at each other and just went, we need to see that again. So we went to the ticket uh, thing again and we bought another ticket and saw it again uh, straight after. So we saw it twice in one day. If you guys don't believe me, I still have my tickets here. Uh, the first one here, I don't know if you guys can read that. Sunday, March 15th, 1.10pm to 3.35pm. Um, and then... Uh, we went out for a bit of a lunch-ish afternoon dinner. Went back and saw the 6.20 session of it as well. I'll let you read that one again, the 6.21. See, March 15th, 6.20 to 8.45. So we, we saw it um, twice today. So as you can tell just by that, we, we thoroughly enjoyed it and we weren't bored at all from watching it two times in a row. This is probably the best movie of the year. And I know um, a lot of people are going to disagree with that. There was quite a few people who didn't like this film. I know when it was very first released in the US and over here within the first day or two of it, it I think I had a really low rating on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know what it is at the at this moment, uh, but I know I had a really low rating of like 20% or something. And it was really bad within the first day. I don't know what happened there. Um, but I don't know. IMDb says it's got an 8.0 out of 10 stars. Um, so I'm definitely going to go rate that as a 10 out of 10 because this film was fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed this. Um, 
This is one I am definitely buying on Blu-ray first day it comes out, possibly even a steelbook if it gets it. Um, so yeah, this is definitely, definitely one to check out in theaters. I highly recommend it. This year is going to be a fantastic year of film. Generally between January and the end of March are generally all the crap films taken three Stuff like that, they usually shove out all the crap films, but for some reason they've dumped this film in here, and I don't know why, because we're still in March, so I don't know why they've dumped Chappie into the first three months of the year. Um, I don't know. It's a mystery. I found it was fantastic. Um, next big film I'm waiting for is definitely Avengers Age of Ultron and Fast and Furious 7. They're the next big ones I'm waiting for, midnight premieres for both of them. Uh, Chappie didn't get a midnight opening. Obviously it wasn't a uh, one that Australia thought was gonna be big here. Um, I don't know if it was or not. The second screening we saw, which the afternoon session was, you know, half all the theater. So I don't know if it, how well it would do over here. As I said, it's only been out for a week uh, since it's really stayed in the US, which was 7th of March or the 6th of March. So about nine days ago, um, but yeah, so it's, it's been arrived the last week, um, $33 million. I think that's a pretty good effort. Um, it's definitely just going to go up. So yeah, I, I really do highly recommend this. It's got great visual effects, great storyline, great acting, great action, sci-fi, everything you can possibly want in a sci-fi film you get in this. Um, the next big project for Neil Blomkamp is the Alien Project, Alien 5. So I think everyone is waiting for that. That was the talk when this film was sort of uh, get filming because I know when they were filming this, uh, Niall Kumbl uh, Blomkamp, he uh, released he was doing Alien 5. So I think everyone went a little crazy over that. And I think this is why this film is sort of skyrocketing a little more. I don't think it would have done as well if he hadn't released that. So I think everyone's gone, hey, this guy's directing Alien 5. People who haven't seen, you know, his last couple of films have, I think, just gone, we need to see what this guy's like. So they've gone and seen this film and see what he's like. Um, as I said, I did enjoy his last couple of films, District 9, Elysium. I, I did enjoy them. Um, I think uh, the main characters, um, especially Scorny Weaver, she always does a great job in everything. She's one of my favorite actresses alongside with uh, Michelle Rodriguez. Um, I think she did a fantastic job in this, and so with Hugh Jackman. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Hugh Jackman. I mean, he's Australian, so he's you know from my country, but he, I'm not a fan of him. I like Wolverine, but other than that, it's, it's he's not, he's not really like an oh my god actor. I see everything he's in, sort of thing. Like most people are with Hugh Jackman. I mean, he's quite popular and famous in American, obviously here, but. I don't know. I I don't really see all the fuss over Hugh Jackman and going to see all of his films. He was good in you know the X Men and whatnot. I I definitely do love my X Men movies. Um, and he was fantastic in this. So I think it's uh, all the films I've seen him in. Um, it's, it's not a lot. It's not all his films. It's it's a it's a lot. It's probably about 90 percent of his films. I think this has to probably be one of his best. Besides his haircut, that mullet pissed me off. That was one of the only little things that really pissed me off in this film was Hugh Jackman's haircut. That gave me the shit through the whole thing. I'm like, get rid of the mullet, just shave it off. <laughs> um, other than the mullet, uh, he was fantastic in this. I'm not going to spoil anything. That was a great scene towards the end with him in it where he sort of faces Chappie. That was fantastic. If you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. How good was that scene? That was amazing. That was one of the best highlights of the film alongside with the carjackings with Chappie. I, I lost my shit when uh, Chappie was hijacking cars. I think I cried and pissed myself and laughed that much where he quacks the duck at the guy when he's uh, still in his car. I, I lost my shit. Um, and I think everyone else in the theatre did too. So... Uh, this is definitely one to check out. As I said, guys, I hope hopefully you guys enjoy this movie review. Let me know. Uh, let me know down in the comments. What did you guys think of uh, Chappie? What did you guys think? I really want to know because you know, as I said, a lot of people have said it's crap. A lot of people said it's brilliant. Sort of one of those films where it's not like people are like it was okay. It's either you, you know love it or you hate it. So let me know down in the comments. What did you think of this film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What did you think? What did you think was the best part of this film? Was it Chappie hijacking cars? Was it the bit where Hugh Jackman faces Chappie? 
What bit did you love in this film? Let me know if you are going to see this film as well, guys. It is definitely one to check out, as I said. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Definitely hit that like button down below. Drop me down a comment, as I said. Always much appreciated. I always get back to people. And hit that subscribe button as well, guys. I do love getting new subscribers. Uh, I do try my best to subscribe back to people who do subscribe to me. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, as I've said many, many times. So, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Um, sorry I didn't really talk that much if I didn't really talk about film all that much. Um, it's just one you need to check out. So I'm going to stop rambling on and telling you you need to see this film because you don't need to, but I'm, I'm saying you definitely should check it out at some stage. But I'm going to stop rambling on, guys. I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. I'll see you guys later.